Filmora 10 is the latest video editor from Wondershare. It has incredible video editing features, motion tracking, audio ducking, keyframing, and much more. This video editor is jam-packed full of video editing features, and it's available to download and try for free today. Filmora 10 has kindly sponsored today's video, which means I get to show you some of the best features that this video editor has to offer. Let's jump in and check them out now. Motion tracking inside Filmora X is a brilliant feature. Let me show you how it works. Here we have a video clip that we're going to play now inside the video editor. You can see it's this woman dancing. We're going to use motion tracking to make it more interesting. Double click on the timeline here inside the clip and then we've got these options which appear. By clicking on video, you're going to see the option for motion tracking. By ticking this, we've now highlighted the option. This box is going to appear in the window on the right hand side and we're just going to drag it over the area that we want to track. When we've got it resized and into position, we're just going to press start tracking so that Filmora X knows where to track inside the scene. You can see this now tracking through the scene and making sure that we've got it correct. Now to do the really cool thing in this, we want to go ahead, click this drop down and then import a picture from our computer. Now I'm going to choose a really cool picture here, this mask and then click open. The mask is now going to be applied onto the window here where our video clip is. And all we need to do is actually drag it into position that we want resize it using the points on the edge and when we've done that and got it in place we can just go ahead and click OK. Now that you can see that this is tracking the woman's face through the scene. Pretty cool eh? You can do this with anything you can think of. You can be creative with motion tracking and take your video to the next level. Colour Match is a brilliant tool that you will use over and over again inside Wondershare Film or a 10. If you've got more than one video clip in your timeline, you'll regularly experience problems with colors matching between the video clips. To solve this, you can use Color Match. Drag the playhead onto the clip that you want to change the color or match the color, then just simply right click and then choose Color Match. On the right hand side, this is going to open up the Color Match area and you can see that you've got your reference clip and then the clip that you want to change the color of. So all you need to do is use this slider to choose the color in your clip and then press the match button. This is gonna match it with the second clip and blend the colors together seamlessly. The brilliant thing about this is it's gonna save you so much time inside your editing. Also, you have the option to level this down a little bit if you want to by bringing the level slider down and make it more natural and less intense. This really is a great feature inside Filmora X, which you will use over and over again. Keyframing is a tool inside Filmora 10 video editor, which you can use to add different effects. And let me show you how easy this is to use. We've just got to go down to the clip inside the timeline, double left click on this, and then this is going to bring up your keyframing section. Just make sure you've clicked on animation and customize. To add a keyframe, simply press add. This is going to add the keyframe into your video clip in the timeline. The keyframe is going to be added wherever your playhead is positioned. So just make sure that's where you want it to be. We're going to add a second keyframe now to the end and we can just do that by dragging up the playhead in line with where we want the keyframe and then by pressing add. Now this is where the fun starts. We can now start to add some effects to our video clip in the video editor and really start spicing it up a little bit. So I'm going to go to scale, I'm going to drag this down and make the clip smaller. I think I'm also going to go ahead and press rotate and rotate the clip 180 degrees. Finally, just to add that little something something, I'm just going to change the opacity, bring it all the way down so that we're making this clip disappear. 
Now you can see inside the timeline that the two keyframes are joined by this arrow, which means the effects are going to be applied between these areas. Pressing OK, we can now go ahead and see what this is going to look like. You can see now that we scaled down this video, lowering the opacity while it's rotating, and you can use this to create some really awesome features inside your videos. When you've used the audio ducking tool inside Filmora 10, you won't be able to live without it. When you're talking in your video, but you have a backing track with the audio is playing, you're going to want to lower that backing track so that you can hear your voice. The best way of doing that is audio ducking. So what you do is you choose the clip that you want to lower the audio inside, go to the audio section inside Filmora 10, and then we find the ducking option, which is at the bottom. When we found that, all we need to do is select it, and this is going to lower the volume of the clip. When you've selected it, just press OK. And now you can see the volume is lower and the bottom track. This means that you're going to be able to hear the audio of my voice nice and clear. You can choose as well how weak and strong you want it, and then press OK. Now, if we test this out, you'll be able to hear that my audio is low here over my voice. Let's take up no more of your time, guys. Let's dive right into it. And yes. comes louder now. Now, the great thing about the audio ducking tool is it really speeds up your video editing process. It saves a lot of time, which is a big thing that video editors want to do is save time. Now, you can do this at multiple points throughout your video and you can just bring the clips higher and lower through the talking points. Keyboard shortcuts will significantly speed up your video editing workflow. These are going to save you a lot of time. Go up to file at the top and then simply come down to keyboard shortcuts. When you choose this, you're going to see a whole lot of different keyboard shortcuts available for you to choose. You can see by scrolling through how many of these there actually are. Now, one of the best things about the keyboard shortcuts is that you can actually tailor them to your needs. You can customize these. Let me show you what I mean. Control Z for some people might be difficult to remember for undo. So simply select this, press U or whatever it is that you'd use, click OK, and now that has been changed to U for undo. If I drag this clip down here and now press U, it's going to undo. If at this point you've decided that Filmora 10 is definitely for you with some of the awesome features available, you can actually customize it in a few ways. One of them is by changing the appearance. You can do this by clicking on preferences and then you can go to appearance and choose light or dark mode. We're in dark mode right now. So let's go to light mode and then you can change that right here. When you've selected that, click OK, and now you have it in light mode. This is for people who are just a little bit more old school, perhaps, or maybe you like something a bit more bright and light. If you like what you've seen in the video today, jump into the description and get yourself 50% off your very own copy of Filmora 10. Or you can simply comment below saying what you think of Filmora. Just use the hashtag create with Filmora and the winner will be chosen and get a one year free license in the next 28 days. Be sure to hit the like button and leave any comments or questions you have in the comment section below and whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.